Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Jinta.com. I have a fascinating problem here from ISIB stat B math entrance. I will also give you a couple of challenges. If you can solve them, please put it in the comment section. We will invite you and also there are some awards for the best commenters. This problem is related to product of divisors. We will be using it for Mathematical Olympiads, ISI CMI entrances. These are the courses that we have. Check the link in the description for more details related to these courses. It said that there is a number N with 27 divisors. These are D1, D2, up to D27. This is including 1 and n. So just to clarify, any number, let's say 10, will have some divisors. 1 is of course a divisor of 10, 2 is a divisor of 10, 5 is a divisor of 10, and 10 itself is a divisor of 10. So 10 has 4 divisors. It's given that n has 27 divisors, 27 divisors. We have to find out the product of the 27 divisors, 27 divisors. We just have to find the product of them. Now, here's the first challenge problem. This is challenge one. Can you find one number with exactly 27 devices? Can you find two numbers, three numbers? Can you find a few numbers with exactly 27 devices? Give it a try. If you can, please put it in the comment section. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair up the devices. Pair up the devices. It's a very simple but powerful strategy. If you see carefully, divisors actually come in pairs. For example, 1 and 10. You can pair them up. And what is so special about this pair? Well, if you multiply them, you get the original number, 10. Similarly, you can pair up 2 and 5. So 2 times 5 is again 10. So this is how you pair up the divisors. So I let me use a different one. Let's say 20. So if I look at the divisors of 20, they are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Now you can again pair them up. 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. That's how you pair up the divisors. So when the divisors are coming in pairs, what is the situation where the number of divisors is 27 or odd? That happens only when you are working with perfect squares. In general, divisors will come in pairs. So there are 2 plus 2 plus 2. So there are even number of divisors. But in the case of a perfect square, what happens is one pair will have both the numbers same. So, for example, if I look at 36, the divisors are 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 6, 9, um, 12, 20, uh, okay, 18, and 36, right? So, you can pair up 1 with 36, 2 with 18, 3 with 12, 4 with 9, and the last number, 6 is paired up with 6 to get 36. So you have odd number of devices because all of these are pairs and one of them has only one divisor. That's 6. So 27 divisors means that's also a perfect square. All right. So we understand how divisors are paired up. So what I'm going to do is, it's very simple. I'm just going to write D1, D2, D3 up to D27, assume that they are in an increasing order and notice that the pairs are like this, that 
if you just write the pairs in the decreasing order you will get the pairing so let me let me show you why that works i will write the example and it will be very clear to you so if i write like this and now if i write this in the decreasing order 36 18 12 9 6 4 3 2 1 so see they are automatically paired automatically paired so here is a challenge th challenge 2 can you say why this automatic pairing happens if you just write it in the decreasing order and increasing order put one of them at the bottom of the other the pairing happens automatically why can you give a rigorous proof of that that's the second one okay so that's what I'm going to do. I want, I'm going to write 227, D26, D25, up to D1. Now notice if I multiply them, since they are paired up, I'm just going to get N every time. I'm just going to get N because they are paired up, right? So N. So if I now multiply everything, I'm going to get D1, D times D2 times up to D27, that's twice so squared equal to n to the power 27 so now can you find out the value of the product of the devices it's just one step from here this is the third challenge so go ahead and find out the product of the devices so this is challenge three so uh, i hope you learned something from this number three is a very beautiful part of mathematics we do it in the Math Olympiad program. We do it in the ISI CMI entrance program. We also do it in the research projects, some of the research projects. So it's, it's a lot of fun. You can check that out. Also more resources at the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and do keep on doing good mathematics. Bye.